all deeply concerned by this incident, and I have reached out to the families of both students to open lines of communication with them and assure them that we are doing everything we can to understand how this happened, as well as affirm our commitment to supporting their daughter's well-being. Through a cooperative investigation by the schools and the Arlington Police, we have determined that the needle the girls located was in an area where snow had been piled up following the removal from streets and sidewalks. Our school resource officer is continuing to investigate to determine the needle's origin. In the time since this incident occurred, our facility staff had conducted a thorough sweep of all school grounds just as they regularly do, in order to locate any additional needles that may have been discarded. None were found, but our facilities professionals will continue to aggressively search school grounds going forward. In addition, we have immediately begun working to leverage our town and school resources to develop age-appropriate conversations about needle safety for our students. These conversations will be designed to help students more fully understand the dangers of needles and recognize the importance of alerting proper authorities should they, locate, should they locate one. In my 11 years as superintendent, to my knowledge, we have never found a needle on school grounds. Still, one occurrence is one too many, and we will act swiftly going forward to ensure nothing like this happens again. And so now we're open for questions. Um, I spoke with both parents and they are, they are fine. Are they being tested for hepatitis and, you know, there's obviously problems with used needles? Um, uh, what I can say is that they were transported to Winchester Hospital and they were evaluated and proper care was taken. Are they able to come back to school? Are they able to go about their lives as normal? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the needle, I believe, was being tested. I will, I will let uh, Chief Flaherty speak to that. Do you want to? Um, we don't have any information um, on the testing at this time. Do you have a timeline on when you would know? Um, I, I don't. Um, we, it, it has been, um, it's not been tested at the hospital, but it will be um, further looked at through the proper resources. I can't give you a timeline on that. Um, at this point, we don't, nothing further. I can understand that. Um, a sweep would mean that they, they literally walk through the grounds looking. Uh, in this particular location, this had been an area where there had been a, a very large pile of snow. Um, I think the first place that um, our facilities uh, team would, would look at are areas where we had had a lot of snow piled up because, you know, it's usually after they're melting that we start seeing that even just plastic bottles that have been discarded there. So that's, but that is the first place they would look. They would also just walk the perimeters and just look um, uh, around all of the grounds. So police or? No, uh, no school, school personnel. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are the ages of the girls and what grade? Uh, I can tell you their ages. They were five and seven. What do you want to tell any concerned parents out there who are hearing about this and their kids go to the school and hearing that two students were with a needle? I think that one of the, the important messages is that as all parents, and, and I would also say our, our school system, we need to educate um, our students about what to do when they see um, a needle or needle stick or something else of concern, that they shouldn't pick it up, that they should let an adult know and so that the police can be called um, or some other um, agency to discard, of the, discard the needle or whatever was found. And I know you mentioned it was a rec department program, so is this during school hours, after school hours, what, what time of day? Is this is an after school program that draws from all of our elementary schools. And did um, the needle pierce the skin of both girls? I don't know how far it pierced. There was a prick, how 
penetrating it was, I can't, I can't answer that question. Chief, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. This will be fun, I promise. <laughs> um, can you just speak to um, the problems of needles townwide, and do you have a drop-off program? Is there, is there anything that, that the educate, you can educate the public right. about? Right. So this matter is under investigation. And we're at the early stages of the investigation. It's very concerning to us, and our concern is with um, the safety of all of our students. Um, I encourage anyone who comes across a needle in public to call the Arlington Police immediately um, and will respond and properly discard it. Um, anyone who wishes to bring any shops to the police station um, can do that with no questions asked. We'll take them 24-7. And obviously you have a drug problem in Arlington. There's a drug problem in every city and town in Massachusetts. Right. This situation I mean, isn't unique to Arlington. Thing, is it getting worse or is, it, is this just sort of an outlier? Um, so it's a regular occurrence for someone to call us to come pick up um, a syringe that they find in public. Are there, cl are there clean needle programs where people who abuse drugs can get clean needles? Are they aware of if Arlington has anything like that? Um, no. Answer that. The, the Board of Health would have information on, on a program for that. <coughs> Superintendent, you mentioned the sweep at the school where the needle was found. Is there being a school? Is there being done at every school under your jurisdiction? Yes, that's happened at all of our schools, particularly concerned about our elementary schools. Um, while we have recess programs in the morning and at lunchtime, I think that you'll see more sustained activity outside after school and the after school programs. So we want to particularly take a look at those areas. And I know you mentioned education at the elementary school on needle disposal and or, you know, disposal that's and dealing with needles if they see them. Is that also being done at the other schools? The, uh, school system? I believe this needs to be done pre-K to, to, to 12. When you're talking about the plowing, um, is it an area where a large parking lot was plowed and this could have been just dropped anywhere in a parking lot and it was, or, or is it off street that perhaps that, that plowing could have happened from a street and then they leave it in the school parking lot? It could have been plowed from the street. Um, there is a drop-off area, sort of an indentation that's near the front entrance of the school and um, in, in order to keep that area clean for drop-offs, this has been a, the place that we've been putting a lot of the snow. So yes, it has been um, a place that has been shoveled, sidewalk shoveled from, and it's also been uh, from the streets as well, pr particularly in that drop-off area. It was on the edge of the property in sort of the grassy shrub area. It wasn't directly on the playground. Um, there is supervision in our after in all of our programs when children are outside. I can't tell you exactly what the time lapse was, but the students immediately uh, notified an adult, and and the correct actions were taken. Two more questions. But would they be allowed near the streets? Was this during the program, and the kids were out by the street? It's not by the street. Um, the 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 pile is actually a little bit off the sidewalk area. Because you don't, we wanted to keep the sidewalk clean as well, and we couldn't pile the snow in the drop-off area, which is where you might normally plow from a, from the street, because that's an area we need to keep clear in the morning. So they were not off school grounds; it was on the edge of the school ground, and it was in a supervised uh, situation. Does the town manager have anything he wants to say, just about a statement regarding this happening in Arlington? Maybe message to people. Sure. I, I'd simply add the concern expressed by the superintendent and the chief as well. Uh, very concerning situation. Uh, we stand to support the families as they as they deal with this and recover from this. And I would simply reiterate that we're we're taking this very seriously. We've performed a sweep of the school grounds, as the superintendent mentioned, and we'll continue to make sure that our custodial staff and facility staff uh, keep a sharp eye on our school grounds to make sure that we do everything we can to prevent this from happening again.